Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. If you are hearing my voice, it's because you would like some additional information on navigating through your course, which employs the Candela LTI to manage your content. So I'm going to give you a couple of shortcuts that may make it easier for you to move among the sections and the piece parts of your course. So hang on and let's see what this looks like. So one of the ways that we can get ourselves around in Candela is all I've done is I've clicked on course content and now this side of my screen, your Blackboard screen should look like this. You see this little guy right here, that little file folder that you've probably ignored as long as you've been using Blackboard. Well, now all of a sudden it becomes all important because if you click on this, what it does is it displays the course menu in a window. And because I am in the Blackboard environment, this little window will let me move between any place I want to go. So if I want to go to this particular reading, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Then I can click on it and it'll take me right to this reading assignment. If I then decided that I wanted to watch this video, I can click on it and it will open the page that has the video. If I want to go back to the module roadmap, I can. What if I want to go all the way back to the start? I could certainly do that as well. So all of that is enabled by simply clicking on that little file folder right here. So it's pretty cool how this whole menu stays here and you can drag it off of your screen, you can make it small, you can make it tiny, you could minimize it, um, you can maximize it, but it all works because you clicked on that folder while you're in Blackboard. Now, hang on and let me show you another way to do it. Let's say that you're in Candela itself, which means you're reading your content and you want to go back to where you were because you're thinking, mm, I don't know what I need to do next. You can navigate with the breadcrumbs. Right? That's those little guys way down there. And in order to navigate with the breadcrumbs, I'd simply come up here and click. What it would do is it would then expand those and I could go back to the module content readings, at which point you would see that you could then manually move from one to the other. And once I was done with this, I could come back up here to my breadcrumbs again, go back to module content reading, come down here, go to this. So you get the idea with using the expanded breadcrumbs. That's pretty much inside Candela or even inside Blackboard. But what else could you do? Remember our buddy over here, the little file folder that was way over here in the corner saying, use me, use me, nobody ever clicks on me. If I am in Candela, meaning I'm actually reading my content, in this case I would be reading this, watching this nifty video, if at some point I think, okay, I'm tired of doing this, I want to go do something else, I see something shiny, you can come back over here to this, and you're going to get the course menu again. Remember this guy? You just saw him like two minutes ago in the video. What's the difference between clicking on that course menu here inside of Candela or inside of your content, and before, when we were out in the module page in Blackboard, the difference is, is that when I click on that little display course menu in a window inside of Candela, once I click on it, it's automatically going to disappear. I don't have him hanging around here for me to use again, quick and easy like I did. Doesn't matter whether you're in Candela or in Blackboard, the display course menu in a window 
is always going to work. The question just becomes, does it stay open until you close it, or does it disappear as soon as it takes you to where you want to go? So I'm hoping this makes things better and not worse. Um, I look forward to seeing you in a course soon. I hope you have a great day.